Gary Oldman has got to be one of the best actors on the planet. I mean, there's no other way to, to say this. I mean, you have played everything from Sid Vicious to... George Smiley. To George Smiley, exactly. <laughs> Lee Harvey Oswald. Yeah. Sirius Black, uh, I could go on and on and on, Russian Assassins, Ludwig von Beethoven. I mean, you have a gift for accents. You really blend into whoever it is that you are portraying. And yet George Smiley is so different from anyone else that you've ever portrayed. Uh, probably the closest thing that I've ever seen is perhaps Commissioner Gordon in the Batman trilogy. But after, after yeah. all of this amazing body of work, I can't help but wonder, is George Smiley closer to perhaps the real Gary Oldman? Yeah, I think he probably... Uh, I mean, when you're playing characters, you... You, you, you know, uh, there's a great deal of imagination that you, that you bring to it. Um, and I always say, um, we, my kids and I love... We're, we, we, we were fans of uh, uh, Spongebob. <laughs> and there was an episode where he talks about um, imagination. <laughs> he does this yeah. thing with the rainbow that yes. sort of appears over his head. Mm -hmm. And I uh, and I always say to my kids sometimes, you know, I tell them to, uh, get, you know, to get get away from the video games. And they go, mm -hmm. Dad, you know, what are we going to do? And I go, mm -hmm. you know, what we're going to do, don't you? And they go, imagination. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's a lot of. A lot of stuff that you bring and that you make up mm. and and but you look also for similarities mm. in characters yeah he's is it close to me I think you there's things that you can use you mm. know with 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 um, you go through uh, you go to the well mm -hmm. the sort of the the, the, the emotional well the intensity that he carries, to me, I, I thought the way you describe it just now, the the sadistic part, if you will, you know, maybe that is what was in common with other characters you played because they're they're so extroverted, they're so in your face, and you did it so convincingly too. That's the other thing, and yet sitting next to you, you seem so mild mannered. In contrast to that. How did you get yourself amped up to play those characters, such as Drexel, say, in True Romance, who is definitely not what I'm seeing sitting next to me right it's now? It's just all facility. I look mm -hmm. at Eric Clapton, mm -hmm. and I just go, he, he holds it. It's like a toy. It's like breathing, mm -hmm. you know? And But he has a facility for it. Yeah, you were so believable. I mean, I think about you as a spy in that movie, and you had, the, and don't take this the wrong way, but you had the kind of face where you would see it and then you would forget it. I forget it. Exactly, just like what you would imagine a real spy to be. Now, you mentioned something earlier about imagination. Imagination. And was that something you did a lot as a kid? Because it seems like today, imagination is being spoon-fed to everyone through video games or through yeah. the internet, and that there doesn't seem to be the kind of unstructured play or or improvisational interaction like there used to be. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's harder and harder to get, um, you know, you've got a, I mean, you've got a parent. That's, that's, right there you know what I mean and mm. you've got to be um, I mean I'm a I think I'm a you know I'm a, I'm a good dad I'm a nice dad but mm. I'm not their friend mm -hmm. um, you know and when they don't want to you know in the, in the, in the other, you know when they were a little, little younger and they would say why can't we do that you know it, it, sometimes you just have to say because you're 10 mm -hmm. and I'm 50 mm -hmm. that's why you know, mm -hmm. and that's the way the world goes round, and that's 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 life. You don't get those choices. You don't have those options right now. Mm -hmm. Just get them outside. Get them in the air, mm -hmm. whether it's kicking a soccer ball or riding a bike. Um, but everything is given to you now. In the old days, when you would do, you know, research, you would go to the library, and then you would get the book, and then you would 
have a book and it would say, for this you need reference, go see, so, and then that would lead you to another book. Mm -hmm. And then the thing, and by the time you'd actually found the thing you were looking for, you really felt that it was a job worth having, a job well done. Right. You know, you earned it. Mm -hmm. You feel you earned it. <laughs> Gary Oldman, <laughs> it has been such a pleasure. Now, you are one of my heroes, Thank and uh, I wish you luck staying grounded in Hollywood, which you seem to have done most yeah. admirably. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers, and good luck. Uh, thank you. <laughs> He's... Hello? Can we... And that's the... And these are professionals. <laughs>